Well, praise God, praise God, you lovely people out there on YouTube and on Facebook and to the whole wide world. We're going to die right here today, first giving honor to God, which is the head of my life. He should be the head of your life. My God, and we're going to get this rolling on this winning Wednesday. This is winning Wednesday. Win, win your love back. <clears throat> Come on, win your boo back. It's time for you to win them back. Come on, somebody. Be nice to your children. Call your mama. Talk to your daddy. Be nice at work. It's winning Wednesday. Win your joy back. Go get that house you wanted. Go get that car. Come on. Do whatever you got to do to make yourself happy. We're going to talk today in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 through 30. And it's talking about how we suffer. We all suffer. We all going to suffer. It's part of it that Paul talks about. And he goes in telling what he had been. He said, Jew, Jew five times, Jews five times, I received 40 uh, lashes. Come on. Three times I was beaten with a rod. One stone, three times. My God. I was shipwrecked uh, a night and a day. I have, have been in the deep. My God. He talks about this all in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. And where I love it, where I get strength from this scripture is that he, we're going to go through some people. Come on, trials and tribulations is going to come. When Adam and Eve ate off there, we had a great fall right then. So trials and tribulations are going to come. Now, here's the thing. Here's the key. This should make you feel better. It does not matter what you're going through. God is in control of it. <clears throat> and sometimes God do allow things to flick the body. Come on. He told uh, Zachariah that he wouldn't be able to speak through the uh, birth of Elizabeth. Come on. He put... Uh, Aaron and Marion uh, outside of the camp. Marion had lepers because they put their mouth on, uh, on, on Moses. Come on. So there's all kinds of afflictions that come on you. The two men in the Bible, there was a king and he allowed his sons to do anything in the church. Getting the women pregnant. Come on. Dating all the women. Uh, a hell yet stealing from the church. And uh, God allowed him to fall back uh, in the chair and choked on a chicken bone. Come on, somebody. So there's things that happen that God do allow to happen, but he wants us to know in that situation, there's glory that come out on the end. Come on, somebody. Even through death, there's glory with God. So it don't matter what you're going through. Just look at it and try to pray for other people. That's what I try to do, and it's tough. A lot of people don't know what you're going through or what you went through through night. Come on. But God give you ability and will and power to get up. And make something happen, if that make any sense, on this winning Wednesday. Well, I wanted to give you a little hot short word. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 through 30. And you'll see that's why we suffer, because Paul did. It is amazing how the people back biblical days did things that we wouldn't dare do. Just like, for instance, if all of y'all watching me out there would walk to church, would you walk to church on this Sunday coming? Would you, would you pastors walk to church? Some of you live a long ways from church, so but that don't make any difference. Paul and them took journeys. These people took journeys, 30 miles to, to see Jesus. Come on. They walked everywhere. Jesus walked everywhere. Now we won't preach at a church unless we got a $5,000 retainer, a bucket of chicken, somebody carried my briefcase. Come on. We won't do none of that. And Jesus Christ never did do that. He never did do accolades. Well, I've been preaching 17 years now. I've preached at 43 million churches. I've talked to 6,000 people. I did Bible study in, in uh, the deep sea of uh, Corinthia, wherever that is. Come on. He didn't never show accolades. So we do a lot of things. We won't go to church if, if it's hot outside and we got air conditioning in the car. And if it's cold, we got heat in there, we still won't go. We wake up in the morning saying, you know, well, maybe I go, maybe I don't. And this is the way God said, okay, yeah, when your lungs start breathing, I just say, well, you know, maybe I make your, your lungs breathe, maybe I won't. But these is the, the, the trials and tribulations we, we get because you know you, you know you messy. So when a trial come on you, then you just have to deal with it, if that make any sense. On this winning Wednesday. Well, just a hot short word to give to you this morning. Listen, we're all going to go through trials and tribulations. It may not look like it. I'm going through one now. But my God, God is so faithful to me that I have to look at the end. 
how he always have took care of me through my trials and tribulations. I love you guys. Be blessed. And remember, when the trials and tribulations come, God wants you to do something. You just got to figure out what it is. I love you all. Be blessed.